on this episode. What some people might call goofing yeah, off oh! is how these guys make a living. But I probably won't be quitting my day job. Big boy, he's one of the dudes. Give it to him. Oh! I'm in Frisco, Frisco, Texas, that is looking for five college buddies from Texas A&M who figured out a way to get paid for doing stuff like this. Welcome to Aggieland. This is the world's longest basketball shot. Big dunk! Yes! What? Let's go! I called it, yes! baby! Let's, Let's go! go! Everybody in the world has heard of him but me. I just watched a couple of their videos. It's crazy. They call themselves Dude Perfect. And from what I gather, they've turned a YouTube channel into an actual business. Now they hang out at Dude Perfect World Headquarters, where they get paid to amuse themselves. Oh, 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 good. Corey, Mike. Mike. Corey. Good to meet you, Mike. Kobe. Welcome to DPHQ. Garrett. Corey, Kobe, Garrett. Yep. Well, you're Ty. Nice to meet you, Mike. You're tall, man. Tell him, tell him, tell him, tell him. Cody, I said Cody. No, you didn't. Cody, Corey. That's the hardest part. Cody, Corey, Kobe. You stick with Garrett and Tyler. That's why I went with tall man. Teaching. Tall man. Uh, brothers? Twins, we are. Yeah. All right, let's review. The tall guy is Cody. The bearded guy is Tyler. The twins are Kobe and Corey. The red-haired guy is Garrett. And lest we forget, their mascot, a panda with a conspicuous lack of situational awareness. So the short version is somebody threw a basketball through a hoop a while ago, a bunch of people yeah. saw it, now you have a building in Dallas. Yeah, pretty much how it goes. It started in the backyard in college. We were all college roommates, and we just had a uh, basketball goal in the backyard. We were about to go to lunch, and I told Garrett, I was like, if I make this hook shot from the corner, you're buying my sandwich. And he's like, okay, whatever, let's go eat. Don't need to tell me this is all over a sandwich. So, yeah, so Drano the shot, I get my free sandwich, and we come back, and we're like, you know, everybody wants to try their shot, get a video yeah. camera out, put them right. together. And it's hard to believe, but at that point, there weren't really trick shot videos out on the internet. So this is when? What year? It's just six years ago. Nine. Yeah. So that sandwich-related bet yeah! begat a YouTube channel and lots more trick shot videos. Yeah! And these guys got very creative in order to stand out from all the other kids looking to get paid for having fun. How'd the name come up? We didn't even have a cameraman at the time. Set the camera up on the railing in the backyard, and one of the guys looked through it, and we had a couple chairs set up. Dude, perfect. He said, oh, dude, perfect. And just like that, a brand was born. YouTube reached out to us, and we're like, hey, you can be a partner and make money from ads from people watching your videos. So we got our first like AdSense monthly report, and I brought all the guys in. I'm like, you guys aren't going to believe how much money we just made. <laughs> I'm like, two cents. Two cents. I'm like, you, Five guys, ways. you guys might not see it now, but one day we'll buy a sandwich from this money. <laughs> so, you know, we, oh. we did buy a sandwich. Yeah, it did. And that sandwich turned into full-time employment for all of them. When did you know, though? We were kind of forced into it to go to leave our other jobs because we all kind of had... Yeah, for four years, we jobs. really, most of us had, up. had something else we were doing, and then Dude Perfect was just a weekend deal. And it just got to be, I mean, three of so us are much. married, and it's a lot of work to balance a family and you know work all week and then go do stuff on the weekends and be gone too. So does anybody have a real job? Not anymore. Yeah, this is a real this job. This is the real job. With respect. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so this is the real job. So you guys are paying the bills by yes. rolling bowling balls you know, through your house yeah. essentially. Yeah. Wasn't long before the videos caught on like wildfire with five million subscribers and up to half a billion views over the past six years. They're one of the fastest growing channels on YouTube. Mainstream media quickly took interest, and they've been seen everywhere, from Good Morning America to Late Night with Jimmy Kimmel, eventually working their way up to this show. Are you athletes that kind of lost your way? Are you an entertainment <laughs> group? Yeah, you you like, say what? that. We're media yeah, I mean, we were, all, yeah, we were all athletes. We've all played in high school. We didn't really make it a whole lot further than that, which I think is kind of what helps draw people towards us, is we're not superstars, yeah. so they can relate to us. I mean, they see LeBron and there's like, no okay, way. that's awesome, but there's no way I could be right. that or do that. Yeah, but could. they see us, you know, average athletes, and it's like, I might be able to hang with those guys. 
Hey, is, Mike, is, is that got, my phone? Yeah, turn your phone off when you start doing these things. It's pretty cool, though. I said my That's phone is hard. completely, yes. Oh, you know what it is? This is so embarrassing, dude. Here, look, I'll show you something too? since we're being honest. I got a I got a little dog. Okay. Oh, no. And and you've got a live oh, feed. I got a I, you got a live I got feed. a baby <laughs> cam for the dog and my dog is freaking out. Mike, what what? How the, little of a dog are we talking? About? He's 12 pounds, but his larynx is eight. Yeah. <laughs> well, I apologize. That's that was okay. a, a hey, wildly yeah, unprofessional. Everybody's you know I mean that's something my wife would do. Sorry. <laughs> Leave it to the veteran TV guy to demonstrate the faux pas to the next generation. So well, then, what is the plan for today? I mean, not that we need a plan. Clearly, we don't no, typically we don't, have yeah. one. I got a couple things set up. At least the veteran TV host can impart some wisdom of his own. Yeah, you're going to be replicating. So well, I, I'll be trying. Yeah. yeah. See, you guys are actually paid to succeed. My business model is based on getting paid to attempt. <laughs> okay. Cool. <laughs> Yeah, you need to get into that game. Smart. No, I'm telling you, you How do. How do we get in that field? I'm going to level with you. I don't know exactly what's going to happen here, but these guys seem to have a lot of energy, and there are a lot of things <laughs> here that can distract us from anything that might otherwise be confused with work, so we're going to go ahead and commence with the actual program. Okay. Why not? He there likes to go. break the fourth wall. There's no fourth wall here. There's not even a fifth wall. So I'm in Frisco, Texas, with the members of an outfit called Dude Perfect, who dream up crazy stunts and then attempt to perfect them on video. They're going with the side cast, huh? Yeah. Their business model is absolutely fascinating. Oh. They've got millions of fans, but no network, no producers, and none okay. of the traditional nonsense that drives TV hosts out of their minds. I nearly broke Garrett's nose, man. Basically, they're broadcasters getting paid to have fun. I'm telling you, it's a job, man. They swear it's a job. It's a job. So far, I'm still a little skeptical that this is really going to generate enough to feed your family, but I, I, I know it's happening. Yeah. Our friends I know it's happening. Way, so you know. <laughs> I've been told it's happening. I saw it on the interweb. It's got to be true. Yeah, for sure. All right, a little bit of encouragement, for God's sakes. Yeah. There you go. There Do you it go. for the fans, Mike. I'm trying for the fans. Do it for the fans. Oh! oh. Was I born too soon? Oh. oh. Did I miss out on a golden opportunity to parlay my penchant for low-impact good times into a high-paying gig? Probably. Lined up for success right now. It's beautiful! Oh! oh! Come on, you gotta be kidding. Right now, though, I just want to use my fishing pole to cast this ball through the hoop. Oh! 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 I just wanted that to be it so bad. But the great thing about these guys right, here we go. Good form. is that no matter how many times you get it wrong, when you get it right, they make you feel like you just saved the world. That's what I'm too talking easy. about, baby. Mike's going to start a trick shot I, channel and take I, us out. Oh we no God. longer have a monopoly you know on what? this. This is, this is good because I think I jacked up yeah. here. Hey, we made the shot. We made the shot. Yes. Cool trick shot time. All right. We might have to let our camera people set up again. They're probably getting really frustrated well, with us look, at this point. They woke up frustrated. Don't worry about that. Okay. So you're going to be standing on this chair. You're going to put a ball, and you're uh -huh. going to have four all go in at the same time. Four balls. One Whoa. putt. Four birds with one stone, as they say. So it seems like one of the keys is, is, to, is to, whenever you can, combine sports. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're yeah. a big fan of that. We like to take sports in an unorthodox manner. We, we bowled at a skate park for a video. Yeah, that was weird. Oh, oh that's transfery. Get there! Yeah! We throw football at ski. Yeah. Oh! Yes! What about shooting footballs? We've done that. I have done that as yeah. well. What you're gonna do is orange ball, this pocket, red ball, that pocket, green ball, that pocket, blue ball, that pocket. In one swing. In one putt. Take a yeah. step up. I'm gonna putt With it. Your you're gonna putt it. All right, all right, good form. Of course you can. When you shoot your videos, do you go through this kind of agony? Yeah, to some degree. Oh, wow. Wow, we need one of those. I, oh, oh. oh. It, by one of those, is it you time? Need one of Doug? Yeah, it's one two. Of, we need, need one of Doug. Doug. Well, come I'm on. Here. You want your A. Go for it. Thanks, <laughs> I figured. Ow. Oh, I'm so tall. What do you want? What do you want? I wonder if Tiger Woods has to deal with this. 
right. right in between the red and the what green. Do we, do we call this anything? It's the four birds with one stone. The biggest downside of golf, aside from trying to put the stupid oh, ball okay. in the stupid okay. hole, that was, that was is all the unnecessary good. walking. But these guys have figured out how to squeeze in nine holes without ever leaving the office. They're not only saving a fortune on greens fees, they're getting paid for the privilege. Let's see it. That is beautiful. Let's see it. Perfect hit, but you didn't hit it. You didn't hit this one hard enough. Okay. Oh. Hey, just red. It's just okay. hit red. It's Heavy okay. on the red. Heavy on the red. This is very simple. All I have to do is put it between the orange and the red. That's all it is. That's it. There That's it the is. Get it it's in. a Phoenix. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm wow. rich. <laughs> Permission to walk on the table. Permission granted. Yeah. Permission granted. Hey, if you want to toss this to a fan after your shot, you can. Just whoever. This is for you. So we're gonna have you do a trust shot. What's okay. a trust shot? So trust shot, it's always a little bit of an element of danger. Yeah! Well, you know, maybe I'd like to see it demonstrated first by by two professionals. <laughs> okay. Like 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 if we had twins, for instance. Let's do it. Let's do it. Here's the target. Okay. Whoever's head that's going on. I don't want you to like go easy. Full on laser rocket arm. Just a little humdinger. Right on the cone. All right, here we go, Corey. Wow. How you feeling? Close your eyes, Corey. So much yeah. trust. Not you might as well close your eyes. Full trust. Do full You're trust. Fine, full, yeah. Yeah. Yes. There we go. In three, two, one. Oh, it's okay. Oh, 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 oh. Not even funny. Oh, I'd oh, say a little okay. quicker. Okay. In three, two, one. <laughs> oh, 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 wow! I was not expecting that. Haircut. Mike, what do you think? You up next? He's a little taller, so that's a yeah. face blaster. I don't know. I don't know that I could throw a full-blown laser at Mike's head. <laughs> that's his moneymaker. Yeah. I hate to lose, lose all this. Intelligent people watch videos to satisfy curiosity. Sometimes, intelligent people are curious to see if the host is going to get hit in the face with a football. I just want you to know that's the first time he's ever done that. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah. Usually one of us are doing that. Really? Yeah. Well, why is this happening? <laughs> You're the one that put the cone on your head. You didn't ask the twins. <laughs> I don't know. The twins. Did I didn't tell you to do that. I did. I did. All I right. love the sport of football. I mean, should I just be here for the snag just in case? <laughs> I'm slightly nervous because that's my grow shot. Okay, a little hot. Hey, that's where you want him to miss, though. Dude, are you, like, shaking right now? No, no shaking at all. I feel really comfortable. Go ahead and knock this thing off, man. Would you? I trust you. Okay. Thank you. That's I all you need. You. That's Thank all you. he needed. Okay, a little oh. juicy, a little hot. I'm still trusting it, not as much as I did a minute ago. Okay. But still trusting. The okay, trust good. is still there. That's good. good. I think a little more speed is key. Mike, I got it. Oh! Oh! Yes! 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 Mike Gregory trust shot! Yeah. So wow. much trust. Golfing with billiard balls and playing William Tell is all well and good, but how does Dude Perfect keep their fan base salivating for more? Simple, by constantly upping the ante. When you ready to go to the roof? What's on the roof? Well, you are going to recreate one of our most popular shots of all time. Yeah? Okay. All right. This is the boomstick. Yes! 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 Look, if you're gonna hang out with the dudes, <laughs> you might as well dress like the dudes. Oh, wow. Look at Mike. Big boy. He's one of the dudes. Look at him. Yeah, oh, you're ready. Hey. Looks like a champ. He's ready to make the switch. <laughs> Let's go That's make $4. About. That's what I'm talking about. Dude Perfect doesn't have a full size professional baseball stadium on the compound yet, but they've got a roof and a commercial parking lot and really. What else do you need? Louisville Slugger right here, baby. Athlete in uh, high school and college, maybe? A little baseball. How's your batting average? Because that's all that matters right now. Decent. Decent. Decent, not Good. great. So you're telling me basically we hit we hit this yeah. straight up and into the hoop? Yeah. All righty. They made it look easy. How hard can it be? That's really where you want to be? <laughs> really? I mean, what kind of follow through are you going to have? Devastating. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this in here real quick. Let's do it. Here we go. At a glance, it may appear as though I'm trying to put a basketball through a net with a baseball bat. Oh, Ooh, that was nice. nice. In reality, I'm exploring the changing landscape of internet commerce while examining the ephemeral nature of perfection here in the 21st century. Mostly though, I'm just trying to put a basketball through a net with a baseball bat. Get in! Oh! oh no way! 
The Dude Perfect guys became a YouTube sensation by making short videos of amazing things. And knowing that nobody wants to see people missing those shots over and over and over again. Oh, come on, that was terrible. But as a professional guinea pig, I can use my God-given incompetence to illustrate just how difficult these stunts actually are. It was close. What exactly happens to a dude when he applies something virtuous, like patience and persistence, to an activity with absolutely no socially redeeming value? The answer is complicated and depends largely on the dude in question. Make it, Mike! Oh, wow! Oh, oh, my God, I got to For the kids! Do it for the kids! Oh, that is just phenomenal. A grown-up dude could justifiably walk away to pursue more important things. Well, a grown-up dude probably would walk away. I'm trying to knock a ball in a hoop with a bat up here. Then again, one could just as easily argue that anything oh. worth starting oh, got under it. is worth finishing. Get it. Oh. Oh, really get it. Oh. I've never seen this many rims. I really haven't. Oh. 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 Are you kidding me? That's not right. Now, far be it from me to suggest that one course of action is superior to the other. But if you're wondering which kind of person you are, existentially speaking, might I suggest a few hours on a roof with a basketball and a baseball bat and a hoop about 50 feet away? Oh, there's the problem. For better or worse, you'll learn things about yourself. Personally, I've concluded that no matter what, it's best to keep on swinging. You got quite the highlight reel after today. To sum up, five best friends have turned their hobby into a job. I don't know how long it'll last, but right now, things look pretty sweet. ESPN, Nerf, and Pizza Hut, they're all in business with the dudes. It's a great gig, if you ask me, and it reminds me of one of my favorite lines from Robert Frost. He wrote, My object in living is to unite my avocation and my vocation. Where love and need are one, and the work is play. In other words, if you're not doing something you love, find a way to love what you do.